And uh, so I wound up, uh, you know, working out of Nashville. And uh, at one point, we used to do these. Uh, they were like uh, showcases. You go and, and there were acts on. You you'd try to get people would come watch you and. So I was lucky enough to have some, uh, a, great, a great friend who passed away a few years ago named Richard Harding who owned a, a club in Chicago. We got any Chicago pair of heads right there. Thank you. So I bounded off to the quiet night and uh, it was an interesting experience because it was so unique because as the opening act, you would work for a month and the, and the headliners would change every week. So in, in, the, in the space of one month, the first person I opened for was Jerry Jeff. The second one was Dan Hicks and the Hot Licks. The third one was the, Sh the Siegel Schwal Band, the blues band out of Chicago. And the fourth one was Neil Sedaka making a, a comeback tour. Nice. Nice. Now let's say the first three were cool. <laughs> so, uh, and then at that point you're, you're getting into it and and there was a, there was a great old guy who was, uh, who was like, Hung around, he clean. He was the cleanup guy, and uh, his name was Eddie Balchowski. He was, he was a, a one-armed uh, piano player, and I would sit up m many nights and listen to him play, and he'd tell me stories about his war days in the, in the Spanish Civil War. And he was like a ex very eccentric junkie artist in Chicago. But uh, that's you know, time on the water is where you learn about stuff, and Eddie Balchowski taught me a lot of stuff. So. Uh, and he is, he is actually uh, who I wrote He Went to Paris about. And, uh, and so, always when you get, yeah, I never get that serious because there's serious moments, but then there's fun stuff. So, let's, let's go to the week I opened for Neil Sedaka. <laughs> so, this is the last week, and I'm getting a little bit of a following in Chicago. I'm hanging out with Steve Goodman and John Prine, and things are going great. And they were so great to me in those early days up there. And, uh, and so Neil Sedaka, who was a great songwriter, you know, Tin Pan Alley kind of brill building New York songwriter kind of guy. And I mean, we all knew about my age, the Neil Sedaka song. So he comes in and uh, let's just say the audience, and I open the show and they look like, uh, I don't know, it was, you know, it's like many buses had come from New Jersey. The Jersey Shore had come to Chicago. Neil, baby! Yeah, we love you! And I'm going, and I'm folk singing away up there going, holy mother of God, what am I going to do? So, they booed me uh, sufficiently for the first 30 minutes, and then Neil came on, he did his first set. And this place exploded. I mean, when, when you're in a performer, you can get, so you can get a room going, and listen, it's a hard thing to do, and I give them all the credit in the world, but I'm going, I'm on the other side, I'm going, they will kill me uh, on the second set because I've got to go back up there and they've heard him and uh, i got to do something here. And so there was a barmaid there and I said, you know, you got to have, what should I do? And she said, come on, come with me. So we went down the street, we went to a, a, a used clothing store and she bought me like some 50 shoes and, and, and I got in and I did an Elvis and I got uh, some depth and slipped my, when I had hair back. Uh, and, and I got very drunk and uh, I went back for the second show and I went up and I did Elvis impersonations and I had them on the table and I went follow that Neil and on the other side of it and uh, that was the beginning of a long and wonderful relationship with the city of Chicago and Richard and, and Eddie they're gone but uh that inspiration, uh, I've never really told that story to a large audience before. So